All right, for those of y'all who are paying attention, y'all know that I'm supposed to upload a video every single day. But my laptop crashed. My laptop is looking like a snail right now. I think it's mining bitcoins in the background. But if there's anybody out there in YouTube land who wants to buy their favorite YouTube maths teacher, a brand new MacBook Pro, don't let me get in the way. Y is inversely proportional to X. Express Y in terms of X and a constant K. Alright, so the first thing is to identify what is inversely proportional. What does that mean? I tell one of my private students that she has an inversely proportional relationship to the time left before exam. So as the time left to exam goes down, her panic goes up. So that's an, that's an inversely proportional relationship. Her panic is inversely proportional to time left till exam. So inversely proportional means that as something goes up, an next thing goes down. It's inversely proportional. Directly proportional would mean that as something goes up, it's like if you think a girl looks beautiful, the more beautiful you think she looks, the more your attraction to the girl goes up. So directly proportional. All right, let's, get, let's do the question. Express Y in terms of X and a constant K. So there's two, two relationships you should know. That's one, and that's the other one right here. So this little fish sign thing means proportional. That's the sign for proportionality. So Y is proportional to X. So if you want to say Y is inversely proportional to X, you need to use the same fish sign thing, but you'll put 1 over X, which would carry the idea that as Y goes up, X goes down, right? Maths, maths, maths. So if you want to put it in equation form, this is important, pay attention. If you need to put it in equation form, you're adding a constant, and we're going to call the constant K. K doesn't start constant, but you know we use the letter K for constant. So um, let's go back there. Those are some important stuff we miss. Right. Right, so this is for directly proportional. We don't want that. This is for inversely proportional. We want that, especially this one. This is the equation here that we want. So let's just get rid of that and use the equation that we want. So first part, y is equal to k over x. k here is the constant. Calculate the value of the constant k. This is the second part. Substitute x equal 3. Substitute y equal 2. What are we doing? What are we doing? We are basically just going to substitute two known values for x and y into this new equation that we got here. So it's basically a substitution, a substitution scene now going on here now. So substitute y is two, and x is gonna be three. And that just leaves us to find for k. k is gonna be two times three, and I guess that's gonna give us a nice little six. All right, let's go on to the next part. Determine the values of a and b. A, B. So once again, you could already see that this is just going to be some more substitution here into this equation. But this time, we know the value of K. So when we substitute in, we substitute K and the Y or K and the X and go ahead. So let's just see how that will turn out. Y is equal to K over X. So if we substitute the Y value and substitute the K value there, we'll get A is equal to 5 when we work that through. And if we substitute the k value and the x value, we get b is equal to 0.3. So that's how proportionality works. Go now and find the question on proportionality and see if you can do it. It's normally worth 3, 4, 5 marks in the exam. Let's hope it comes for 2018 because you're mash it up, eh?